What are you most grateful for, Matthew? Amanda, what are you most grateful for? My um, food and shelter. You're grateful for food and shelter? I am grateful for life. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up another day. Thank you for life. Thank you for new opportunities. Jory, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my mommy and daddy and for life. Oh. And shelter. And shelter. Bo, what are you most grateful yeah, for? Yeah, I'm grateful for your father walking in the video. <laughs> yeah, I'm most grateful. Bo, what are you grateful for? <laughs> Bo, what are you most grateful for? I'm not grateful for you moving my hand when I stuck it a particular way. I'm trying to find, yeah. So you want it? I am grateful. I am grateful. I'm most grateful for my wife. She is the wind beneath my wings. She is my backbone. She is like my skeleton system. So without her, you know, I would... Without your skeleton system, your body can't stand up, can't move you. That's my wife to me, you know. She's my everything. She has been my tower of strength. So I'm very, very grateful for her. And I give thanks for life. Thank you, Jesus. Bless. Wow, fine day, but nobody never described me as a skeleton. But all right, thank you both for those thoughtful words, very touching. I'm also grateful for you. And I'm thankful for your love and how, how much of a good father you are to your kids. You know, thankful for your helping hand and your thoughtful words and encouraging words. Thankful for life and I hope that we can enjoy life and life will be better for us. You know, so we can be more happier. Yes. So Massive, what are you most thankful for? Comment down below in the comment section. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment. Remember to subscribe and to keep watching on the lifestyle. I'm just there. I'm going to make like a breakfast and turn on the camera. No, Tom. I miss them. I'm not like what I'm here. Come here. Come here. Let me get this something to it. Alright, my sister, I'm going to show you some fried dumplings on my Sunday and make. With some. Alright, Jory, alright, alright. Let's all show you. Let's all see you. Say hi, Jory. Hi. What are you making? Dumpling. Making fried dumplings? Yeah. Alright, my son, alright. I'm making them in another pot. Lord of God, see, I'm going to chat with them. I'm going to chat Can we turn down the fire there, please? Turn it on low. Mm -hmm. Put it on low? Low, low, low. Minimum. Grow on more. Right, that's it. The minimum can come out. The minimum can come out. Hey, that's it. Well done. Eat here now, so we're putting a new batch. Last batch, I mean, never taste too bad. Come, put in your one now, Joy. Take time, very good. What do you mean, my son? Go and make one more. So, now, chef, see it there now. I make some new batch. The previous batch I don't forget that one is well brown. That one is. Oh, nice one. Well, I'm going to put the fried dumpling. That's your face, that's your face. I'll turn the fried dumpling. I'll turn the one that you're trying to do. Turn the other one them now. Good job, son. Good job. And that one yeah. Turn that one yeah. That one yeah. Yeah. 
No, turn it again so the part of a white can, can go down there. Uh, uh, right, thanks. Alright, my sister, what I'm going to today, I'm going to look about fried dumpling and dirty girl. In Jamaica, we call mackerel dirty girl. I don't want to make a look about the last one. I like the last one because it's pink and chunky and nice. Alright? Mm hmm. Something they may know. I'll fry up some more. Alright. Normally in Jamaica, when we are used tin, we normally wash off the top of the tin. Them. Nobody try to do anything extra jewelry. We normally wash off the top of the tin. Just for the camera. Because you know, when you have tin food and then in a shop or some of that, wherever they're there, you know what kind of insect or whatever. My crawl upon them. So we normally wash them off before we. Um, before we pull them. So any germs or bacteria so I can wash off. You know, so you know follow instructions, but if you don't do anything extra, just hold it and you behave like your cameraman and your tail tired or all kind of thing. Stop. You know follow instructions. Stop. Alright, so I'm gonna do the dirty girl so you take the tin and you, you flick up the top part lad. It's a balancing in a car one and have the camera. Come on and find it in the drawing. Okay. I talk to your board of the camera and do it and just hold it. Yeah, but I'm not too many because I'm going to cook up some onion and pepper. That's why I'm going to put it in there. Another thing we're doing in Jamaica, we rinse out the tin. We rinse out the tin. That's my cream. Rinse out the tin. And get a little gravy in there. We throw it in the pot. Throw it in the pot. Don't clean it now. Alright, then they are going this one. Chip now. Walk them out. They look up at the mackerel. They walk them out. That's some big old something thing. Yeah, just come there and look up. How I try to test out. Walk me to it and put it up and I'm going to pour it. So, so them be. Some big piece of onion in there, can't put no butter. You have to cook too, put no butter, put it in the second one. You just drop it in the middle. You got to simmer down. You got to go and cook down and put it in the middle. You got to black pepper and put it in the middle. You see me? Something in there, we'll do so far in our pot. Stay about a time, you know? You know what I mean? I'm gonna make some ginger tea. It's a ginger. So I'm gonna wash them all, cut them up all. Hold your head in. So I'm gonna put this out there. I'll wash them. I'm going to this. Thank you. 
I can get the sleeve off. Oh, that's not way off. Pick piece of fever grass, put in there with it too. Okay, and I nice up the flavor. I know she's still. Ah! Boo pick some fever grass, I will put it in there so we're gonna have fever grass, ginger tea. Watch the steam, you know, it's hot. Boo, I pour out the tea out of the pot, in the cup. Stop saying treatment. How oh, the tea, boo, you like it? Yeah, man. Ginger fever grass up. Up. Liquid COVID. <laughs> mash, mash down COVID. I say, yeah, eat up here. Johnny cake. Mm hmm. What we call fried dumpling. Yes, sir. Rate it, rate it, right there, right there. Ten out of ten. Lord of God. Mackerel. 20 out of 10. <laughs> ah, I did get like a leftover candy. I got a leftover candy. Mm -hmm. yeah, 10 out of 10. I don't know. 30 gala bass. You know. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. 30 gala bass. Just flash out one with some white rice. Dinner that. I can't eat it with, with dumpling. Or yeah, I can't. Man. Yeah, I can just flash out one with some boiled dumpling. Mm hmm. Come on, don't you boss? <laughs> Good source of omega 3. Oh, protein. Minerals and oil, protein. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so that's it, Massive. Just sharing you one of our breakfast items that we would prepare sometime on a Saturday or, or any day. Jamaican breakfast, you know, fried dumpling. Some people call it Johnny Cake. Like a dirty girl, some people call it tin mackerel. I may have a little leftover can be if alright. So thank you so much for watching. Pick up on yourself. If there's any other video that you like for us to do, comment down below. Bo, do you have any last thoughts to share with the massive? Just be collective for the Christmas season. Don't get carried away. Don't spend with what you don't have to impress people who don't like you. <laughs> yeah. So. The pop style pop people. Mm -hmm. No, don't do that. Yeah. Live within and your means. Um, share what you have with somebody who you need. And tell somebody that you love, that you love them. Be kind to others. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah, man. We're out. Love yeah. you. Bye.